What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Doctor Who Season 1. Oh my god, it's not Season 1. Uh, Doctor Who Season 4, Episode 9. How's it going, everybody? In case you're here early, that means you might be one of my patrons, and I want to give a huge shout out to every single one of y'all. In case you're interested in getting the full unedited raw reaction, two uploads a week instead of one, then definitely check out patreon.com slash Farewell34 in the description down below. Anyway, though, Last episode was a really interesting um, first episode of a two-parter. Uh, where is Donna Noble? Hey, who turned off all the lights? Hey, who turned out all the lights? Hey. Hey. Hey! So, I'm really interested to see where this episode is going to go. Stephen Moffat is, you know, he's 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 the boy. He's, um, he's very creative with... Uh, the storytelling, he's four for four, in my opinion. He did A Girl in the Fireplace, he also did The Empty Child, he did Blink, and uh, we're gonna see where this story goes, because uh, if this episode ends off well, this might be a four for four, in my opinion. Uh, that being said, though, let's just dive right into this episode. Ended off with uh, Donna's face in the cement. She was like one of the, the, the robots, the secretary, the librarians, or whatever. Librarians, um, she's been saved. Let's see what that means. Anyway, though, with that being said, let's just dive right into this one. As always, if you enjoyed it, then definitely be sure to leave a hot like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her going. You the library. Hey. Oh, he's saving it like a PVR? Like putting him into different worlds or something? Or like USB saving? So is that Donna? Farmville. I don't even know what kind of <laughs> what's going on there now. Gorgeous. Villager ass Can't background music. This is Stop it! Stop it now! We've got a visitor. You've done so much in seven years, Donna. Oh! 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 Maybe I was right with the prediction. We just saw her have two kids. If this is canon, to some capacity or whatever, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe the child. Nah, actually, I was gonna say maybe the child that right there is Donna's, and that's whom the doctor had a connection with last episode. Ah, probably not. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. I need a chicken leg. Who's got a chicken leg? A chick? Who is a, who is a spare drumstick? Oh, <laughs> apparently he does. I can trust you. Yeah. There's a tiny problem. He hasn't met me yet. We'll do one day. Yo, you're cheesing me with all these these future references. Sometime in the future, I just give you my screwdriver. Yeah. Why would I do that? I didn't pluck it from your cold dead hands. If that's what you're worried about. And I know that because. Dear God, you're hard work, young. Yeah, who are you? Oh, for heaven's sake! Look at the <sighs> pair of you. We're all gonna die right here. <sighs> I'm not. I want to know too. Like an old married couple. Doctor. His wife. One day I'm going to be someone that you trust completely. So I'm going to prove it to you. Kiss. And I'm sorry. I'm really, really very sorry. Who is this person? Who's man's? Is that a blink reference? I don't, I don't know. I can't tell by him not blinking. <laughs> okay, pause, pause, pause. I'm sorry. I just want, I really want to talk. So, whomst is she? Who can, who could she be to make the doctor 
literally not even move. I, I, I don't even know. Was they? I thought they were they, for a second, it, trusting completely. It almost seemed like they were alluding to like a future, you know, partner or something. Not like part like a panty, but like an actual like life partner or something. You know, like a relationship. Ah, being blocked, professor. Just uh -oh. a it's important. Oh no, she's about to get got. I have two shadows. Maybe they'll think they're already in there. Leave her alone. You think they could be fooled like that? Maybe, I don't know. It's a swarm. It's not like we chat. Can we still see him there? Just about. Just, just, just stay back. Professor. Hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> I know what I'm gonna be for next Halloween. Why was he here? Yeah, just a second ago. You must have passed it. They called Doctor Moon. They called the actual Moon Doctor Moon. Interesting. You're right. Bitch, what? Yeah. Off you go. No fighting. Donna has a kid confirmed. Wow. Is that canon? They put a heartbeat. I got your note last night. The world is wrong. What's that mean? No, you didn't. I'm sorry, what? You didn't get my note last night. <gasps> I hope now to return that kindness. Oh, that's her. Your voice. I recognize it. Yes, you do. I am what is left of Miss Evangelista. Skeleton. What well, actually was sort of like the Grim Reaper in death. It was bad. My predictions are still on one. Boom. That's a man's soul. Trapped inside a neural relay and running around forever. Now, if you don't have the decency to let him go, how about this? Use him. Talk to me. It's easy. Neural relay. Just point and think. Use him. I don't think it works like me. that. Hey, who turned out the lights? The vast and Narada live on all the worlds in this system, but you hunt in forests. We do it in a library. We should go. Doctor! In a minute. You came to a library to hunt. Why? Just tell me why. We come from here. From here? We hatched here. You hatched from trees, from spores and trees. These are our forests. You're nowhere near a forest. Look around you. These are our forests. You're Microspores in a million, million books. We should go, Doctor! Oh, look at that. The forest of the Vashta Narada. Oh, Dave, I'm so sorry. Hey, Dave. who turned out the lights? We should go. We should go. <laughs> Tell me I'm stupid. I told you, Marty. I was rabbiting on. This dog doesn't stop for anything. Well, not the only reason I'm still alive. Bang in the door. See you. Do it, Daddy. Oh, okay. I thought he was just... He just fell, and I'm like, okay. Sorry, but... You're dead. In a way, we're all dead here, Donna. We are the dead of... I didn't expect this to get really, really real here for a second. How do they know that I'm dead inside? Just stop me! Why are you doing this? Why are you wearing that fire? Think her makeup's a little off. Isn't he? He's coming back, right? You know when you see a photograph of someone you know, but it's from years before you knew them. The doctor's here. He came on a call, just like he always does. But not my doctor. Now my doctor, I've seen whole armies turn and run away. And he'd just swagger off back to his TARDIS open the doors with a snap of his fingers. Next stop everywhere. Spoilers! <laughs> Nobody can open a TARDIS by snapping their fingers. It doesn't work like that. It does for the Doctor. I am the Doctor. And then she whispered a word in your ear, mm -hmm. and you did. Significance? What is it, Doctor? My life so far... Peter, this is a new issue. Not to say saved, you say saved, but you see, it didn't mean saved, it meant, it literally meant, saved! What happened to your face? Yep. Transcription errors. 
Destroyed my face, did wonders for my intellect. All the teleports going at once. As soon as the Bastion Narada hit their hatching cycle, they attack. Someone hits the alarm. The computer tries to teleport everyone out. It tried to teleport 4,022 people. Well, succeeded. Pull them all out, but then what? Never send them. No, I say no lie. With Bastion Narada growing in every shadow, 4,022 people all beamed up, nowhere to go. They're stuck in the system, waiting to be sent. Not emails. So what's a computer to do? What does a computer always do? It saved them. It can be actualized again whenever you or the library requires. The library? If my face ends up on one of those statues... You remember the statues? Oh, that's why the statues are there. That makes so much more sense. Wait, no. You're sustained only by your belief. You don't know. You don't have children. Neither do you. Oh, Literally, she's cried every episode. I think if any companions, I think if any companions needed a time off, I think it's Donna. She's she's been stressed. Fifteen minutes. Computers don't dream. Oh, it achieved consciousness. No, the little girls do. As a child, a child hooked up to a mainframe. Why didn't you tell me this? I needed to know this because she's family. So we built her a library and put her living mind inside, and the moon to watch over her, and all of human history to pass the time, any era to live in, any book to read. She loved books more than anything. Oh, what? And he gave her them all. He asked only that she be left in peace, a secret. She saved everyone in the library. Followed them into her dreams and kept them safe. Then why didn't she tell us? Because she's forgotten. She's gonna have a 4,000 living minds chatting away inside her head. It must be like... We will have the data call. The computer will reset, stop the countdown. Higher learning. Higher storytelling, guys. Easy. I'll hook myself up. The computer can borrow my memory space. Typical. It'll kill you stone dead. Yes, easy to criticize. It'll burn up both your hearts and don't think you'll regenerate. I'll try my hardest not to die. Honestly, it's my main thing. Don't I'm right. This will work. Shut up. Now, listen. You and Lucky Boy back. If he dies, I'll kill him. <laughs> if he dies, I'll kill him. The vast in Arada. He's in a forest. I'm gonna see you Charlotte inside, little. She's nearly gone. Be kind. These are our forests. We are not kind. I'm giving you back your forests, but you are giving me them. Don't play games with me. You just killed someone I like. That is not a safe place to stand. Look me up. He said, the man said, look me up. LOL. He said, can, he said freaking F5 me, dog. <laughs> oh my God. You know who this reminds me of? It reminds me of freaking... Shikamaru, that's who. That's who she. Uh, the character, the 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 the, the Ravada or whatever you call them, remind me of. But you can't. Auto destruct in. I don't know the fuck this woman is. I'm cheesed. What's happening? I don't know. It's not real. Excuse me. You're all fine. Look at you. <laughs> Four thousand people. Yeah, maybe I missed the context about who the woman is. Maybe they gave it, and I just wasn't paying attention. Sorry, guys. Saved. The doctor really is a sad boy if you think about it. Wasn't even anyone called Lee in the library that day. I suppose you could have had a different name now, yeah, but let's be honest, it wasn't real, was it? 
Not even know. That might be a good parallel. They they snuck in the little, you know, the perfect man. Maybe that's supposed to be in contrast that it's actually the doctor's potential future partner, the perfect woman for him. He's all right, special. Oh, oh no. Oh, feels. Oof, that's a big oof. That's a feels bad big oof moment. Oof. Professor Song. She knew you in the future, but she didn't know me. What happens to me? Because when she heard my name, the way she looked at me. Donna. This is her diary. I could look you up. <sighs> Shall we peek at the end? I don't think that's a good idea, fam. Sorry guys, I got a little bit of a headache. Run with the doctor. Feels like it will never end. But however hard you try, you can't run forever. Everybody knows that everybody dies. And nobody knows it like the doctor. That all the skies of all the worlds might just turn dark if he ever, for one moment, accepts it. Why? Why would I give him my screwdriver? Why would I do that? Thing is future me and she has to think about it. Although she has to think of a way to save her. What he did was give her a screwdriver. Why would I do that? <gasps> Look at that. I'm very good. What have you done? I'm gonna go on the episode there for a second. I was like a little anticlimactic. Oh, this man's bolted. What the fuck? He yeeted. Yeet. What is going on? This is a good place now, but I was worried you might be lonely, so I brought you some friends. Just can't do it, can he? I'm so, so some sorry. Days, that nobody up. dies at all. Snap it. Well, let me let me try and let me take a crack at it. I'll be completely honest, guys. I kind of have a slight headache, and it was a little hard to focus at times. But guys, I'm just, I'm a little slumped on this one. Y'all gonna have to let me know in the comment section about this episode. Yeah, that was this episode of Doctor Who. So uh, turns out it was all a simulation, uh, and then they were all saved in the code. Cal turned out to be the little girl who was the the the, the core hard drive. Uh, everyone was saved. Donna. This episode alluded to the, her death. Um, who knows how that's gonna go? And uh, yeah, that character, I, 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 I don't know. I really, I'm honestly, if y'all are disappointed in me, uh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know, man, I was slumped on this one. Uh, this is the first time something like this has happened. It's late. Uh, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably um, feel bad about this later. But anyway, that was the episode of Doctor Who, y'all. What did you think about this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, I actually think I preferred the first part because I did. I'll, I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch this on my own. Um, explain in the comment section, please. Again, sorry for the disappointing y'all, but um, that was it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, then be sure to leave a hot like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, anyway though, anyway though, that being said, I will see you all next time, y'all.